Simple interest is the type of interest that is earned on the principal or the initial investment only. Simple interest does not earn interest on interest earned from previous periods. The formula to solve the total amount of interest earned or paid in an investment or loan that earns simple interest is the interest equals the principal times the rate times the time or I equals PRT. I stands for interest, which is the amount of interest paid or earned. P stands for principal, which is the amount originally invested or the original amount borrowed. R stands for rate, which is the annual interest rate paid on a loan or earned on an investment. If this figure is given as a percentage, then it would need to be divided by 100 to come up with your rate. T, which represents time, which is the length of the investment or loan in years. Let's try a word problem. Suppose Jason borrowed $10,000 from the bank at a simple interest rate of 10% and was to pay the loan back over five years. How much interest would Jason pay for this loan? Let's plug in our figures to the simple interest formula to solve for the total amount of interest that he paid. Our formula would be 10,000 times 0 0.10 times 5. Therefore, the total amount of interest paid over a five-year period would be $5,000. What if we invested money today in an investment that paid simple interest and we wanted to calculate what the total investment would be worth at some point in the future? Our formula to solve this would be the initial investment times one plus the interest rate times the number of periods that the investment would be held for. So if Tom invested $1,000 in an account that earned 5% interest and he held this investment for five years, his investment would be worth $1,500 five years from today. You can see we got this by multiplying 1,000 by one plus the interest rate of 5% times five, which is the number of years the investment was held, giving us $1,500. Now let's analyze our interest formula to figure out how we can solve for the other variables. We already know how to solve for interest, but what if we need to solve for the rate, periods, or the time? It's actually pretty simple. Let's place all of our variables into a triangle as shown here. Take a look at this triangle. Inside the triangle, we have placed our variables from the simple interest formula. All that we need to do to find the formula that will solve for a specific variable is to cover up the variable that we want to solve for. So if we want to find the formula to solve for the principle of an investment that earns simple interest, all we need to do is cover up P, representing principle, giving us our formula of interest divided by rate times time. If we want to find the formula to solve for the rate of an investment that earns simple interest, all we would need to do is cover up R, giving us our formula of interest divided by principal times time. If we want to find the formula to solve for time of an investment that earns simple interest, all we would need to do is cover up T, giving us our formula of interest divided by principal times rate. Finally, if we want to solve for the amount of interest an investment that earns simple interest would earn, all we need to do is cover up interest, giving us principal times rate times time, which is, of course, the formula used to solve for the total amount of interest earned or paid in an investment or loan that earns simple interest. Let's try another example. 
Alan took out $5,000 for five years and paid a total of $2,000 in interest. This loan charged simple interest. What was the interest rate of the loan? Let's plug in our values into the formula to solve for this rate. Since we are solving for the rate of the loan, our formula is rate equals interest divided by principal times time, or R equals I divided by P times T. So if we plug in our figures, our formula would be 2,000 divided by 5,000 times 5, which would equal 0 0.08. Therefore, the simple interest rate on Allen's loan was 8%. Okay, let's try another word problem, but this time we'll solve for the principal. Brenda took out a loan that she paid a 5% simple interest rate on, resulting in her paying a total of $1,500 in interest over the life of the loan, which was for five years. What was the principal of the loan? Since we're solving for the principal, our formula is P equals I divided by RT, or principal equals interest divided by rate times time. So if we plug in our figures, our formula would be $1,500 divided by 0 0.05 times 5 equaling 6,000. Therefore, Brenda's loan was for $6,000. Okay, now let's try one more example. But this time, let's solve for the amount of time the loan will be held for. Todd took out a loan for $100,000. The simple interest rate on this loan was 4%, and the total amount of interest Todd paid was $40,000. How long was the life of this loan? Since we're solving for the life of the loan, our formula will be T equals I divided by PR, or time equals interest divided by principal times the rate. So if we plug our figures, our formula would be 40,000 divided by 100,000 times 0 0.04, resulting in 10. Therefore, Todd took out his loan for 10 years. And thanks a lot for taking the time to watch my video. If I've helped you in any way, um, just one way you could repay me is by liking my videos, commenting, rating, and sharing. And then also, please go and check out some of my other videos. Um, I have all sorts of video tutorials on Excel, finance, financial formulas, economics, business, and there's plenty more to come. So also make sure that you subscribe so you can stay tuned and be informed whenever I upload a new video. Um, also, don't forget to check out my website, subjectmoney.com and excelfornoobs.com. Also, look us up on Facebook and like our uh, Facebook page. All right, thanks a lot.